Okay, joke's on me. Uh, my microphone didn't attach <laughs> when I recorded this, so I'm sorry if the audio is a little off. I will do my best to touch it up, just so you know. Hey guys, uh, today we're trying something a little different. Uh, this is a segment I would like to call Nat Chat, where I'll just, you know, do a little speed draw, something I've personally drawn, and uh, have a little chit chat over it. Just stuff that's on my mind, a subject that interests me. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy or particular. Just a little something something. Uh, for today, I wanted to go about why I picked Let's Plays as my go-to video content for this channel. I know that they're very popular. There's a lot of people who are doing them, but I do have reasons I enjoy doing Let's Plays and the reasons I enjoy watching Let's Plays. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about that today. Let's start by bringing up a lot of the common idea uh, ideologies behind it. Um, obviously, people talk about how they watch Let's Plays because they don't care about the game, or they don't know if they like the game first, and they want to see someone else play it, see if it's fun, see if they can derive some entertainment from it. That's a big reason. Another reason is sometimes people just don't have the time, or the energy, or even the money to get a game, and they're really curious about it, and they want to see what it is. Or, speaking of time, there's the digestibility of a game. When you are watching someone else play it, they're cutting out the filler, they're cutting out the reputation, reputation, <laughs> repetition, and they are putting it in a format that you could very easily speed it up. You, you've seen the little speed up keys at the bottom of the, your YouTube videos there. And so they can get through that information faster, they can understand it, they don't have to be paying 100% attention to it. And they can multitask or do something else. All good reasons. They do apply to me. But I actually have some of my own reasons. Um, ones that I haven't seen people bring up as often. So I'm going to start with one side one. This is the side one. I have a major one and a side one. The side one is... I... <laughs> You'll notice this when you see my games. Um, I try and play some variety of games. But... I'm not a huge fan of really scary games or, like, really gory games. Gore makes my stomach churn, and I don't like being that hyper-focused on a game only to get freaked out because of a jump scare or a sudden noise or something like that. I already scream in Minecraft. I don't need to scream <laughs> for anything else. So if I watch someone else play it, there's that step back. There, there's like that extra wall there that protects me from the scary content. And so uh, that makes it easier to, to digest. And I can also close my eyes and look away or just listen to it uh, if it gets to a part where like people are like hacking and slashing. So that's my side point. Major point. I like the heart that comes from a Let's Play. And I know that sounds weird. But when I was a kid... It was me and my two brothers, my, my sister, not so much video games, but me and my two brothers, we loved playing video games together. We would sit for hours and hours in the living room playing the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo and, you know, the Sonic games, the Mario games, Ninja Turtles, uh, all, all of them. But... In our modern age, our modern generation, there's not a lot of that, like, on the couch sitting next to each other, bickering or fighting over the control. You don't have as much of that. So when you watch somebody play a game and you hear them talking and joking about it, 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 it revitalizes that kind of feeling where you're sitting next to someone and you're enjoying that video game with them. And so... I want people to enjoy sitting on the couch next to me while I make my stupid little jokes about video games. I promise I'll get better. <laughs> I promise. I'm improving slowly. So, I, I just kind of want to I want to bring that forward, you know? I, I mean, even some of my best friends when I'd grow up, I would literally go over to their house and I would just spend 
the entire night. We'd be up till like 3, 4 a.m. in the morning just playing video games all night long, doing silly voices for all the characters and like pointing out the secrets. It, 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 it's a blast. And so I just kind of wanted to, you know, push that forward as well. Kind of do a little bit of that here on this channel. Um, you will find some other content sometimes. I might do more, well, of course, more of these, more Nat Chats. Uh, but, you know, I might do a little more artistic uh, content when it comes to, like, speed draws. I might, you know, give you updates on things. Maybe I'll, I don't know, review some. I don't know. If you have suggestions, let me know. Um, now, the last topic I want to touch on is uh, <laughs> kind of combatant, combating some of the, well, this is the real reason. Here are some of the reasons... Here's some reasons that I didn't, that are not excuses for doing Let's Plays, but, you know, people will think of them. Uh, people think, well, you're doing a Let's Play because it's super easy, quick content, you can just throw it out there, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and no, yes, maybe. I, I've definitely seen people who will sit there, forbatim, in utter silence, making a comment once in a while while playing a game, and then just post that straight to YouTube without any kind of rhyme or reason or editing or anything. I've seen that, but that's not what I'm doing. Um, I, <laughs> You know, there's a talent for being able to talk while you play do something. It's a multitasking talent. There's a talent for being able to talk to yourself. Um... And a lot of people don't realize that that can actually be quite difficult to sit there and talk to yourself for an extended amount of time without any kind of feedback and just hoping that when people hear you, there's something there that it grabs their attention. So it's kind of a... I understand the argument that it can seem like a no-talent, no-creative type of content, but I hope that that's not what you get when you see my videos here. Uh, the other one, which kind of goes hand in hand with that, is it's lazy content. There's not a lot of work that's involved in it. And <laughs> that one I also don't agree with, and that's also not something I'm doing here. Again, you'll, you'll see people just verbatim throw up two hours of gameplay, and they've spoken five minutes of it. Uh, and you'll see them, they'll have no editing, uh, they'll have poor mic recording, they'll have a fuzzy <laughs> video. You know, I've seen it. But what I'm doing here, especially if you look at my videos, there's a lot of editing. I'm editing in those stills, my, my caricature. I am editing in the intro. I'm editing jokes in throughout. Not all my jokes are verbal, um, obviously. And then, um, you know, I, I'm putting in lots and lots of time. Like, <laughs> honestly, my editing for my videos is usually between three to five hours just to get all of it done between, you know, fixing the audio, reattaching the audio, adding in the stills, cutting out dead bits, making my jokes, finding material, all of that stuff all together. It takes hours. And if this was lazy, easy turnout content I was trying to do, you know, you would probably see like three or four random videos throughout the week, not a set time with the same kind of set amount of editing per video. Like this, this is, <laughs> this is a passion project, no doubt about it. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. Uh, if you, you know what, tell me, why do you enjoy Let's Plays? Why, why, what drew you to this? I know that, like, personalities and feeling like I'm sitting there on the couch with some of my favorite content creators, that's what drew me, you know? I, someday, I hope I can be your game grumps or your completionist or, you know, you know, Jacksepticam. Or, I, I'm not as good as them. I, maybe in a few years, but I'm not as good as them. But someday, hopefully, I can mean something to somebody, too. Um, but thank you. Thank you for listening to this Nat Chat, and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace!